Welcome back to another edition of Ink Master Arts Trade right here in the ranch chair. It's me, a filter tube of doom in place of a lucky strike. My bad. It was definitely a shout out to Metal and Mrs. Metal for hooking me up with a lucky strike factory that, uh, that definitely made life a lot better for me. <coughs> you guys rock. And uh, sorting the world's problems out. One inhale, two at a time. While I'm getting my coffee done, formulating opinions. Well, uh, I've pretty well decided I'm allergic to being sober. Um, I don't like feeling pain anymore. I don't like having to remember things, and I, I don't like dealing with other human beings. But there's fuck all I can do about it until payday. Therefore, I am here, you are here. Let's uh, form opinions together while we smoke cigarettes and drink our coffee, or you have your drink, whatever time of day it is. I don't know. So, I saw a video this morning by Salty Cracker. I shared it on my community tab. Uh, dude hops over the fucking, I don't know what you call it, podium, where the judge is, and starts throwing hands, right? Which I found actually quite funny because, you know, monkey see, monkey do, right? You know, so that's when them fuck around and find out things. Where I take offense to this is the bailiff is throwing some noodle arm liberal punch. And uh, I guess it must just be the part of the world they're in. Yeah, shout out to noisy heat pumps, right? Because we have ice fog today and inversion, which means I'm going to be hiding inside out my butthole. Right? Becoming one with my chair, finding movies on. Because I've been a good responsible adult and I've been doing my chores and even batch cooking. Uh, by the way, if you're new here, like Specs is, uh, I forget your actual channel name, leave it down in the comment section and uh, share yourself out and stuff. Like, we're all about unity and community here. Uh, like I said, you know, you can't spell unity without a big unit. And <laughs> I, I do have one. You know, what can I say? A little meat joke here in the morning time. But, you know, I guess it's no better time than any. You know, since Mrs. Tomcat's having her troubles, you know, I'm not going to throw Tomcat's business out on the air because, uh, you know, he go check out his live stream to figure that one out. I figure there's no better time to tell them my the only time I was ever going to appear in court, right? Uh, basically, what happened is, uh, you know, you need a little backstory here. You know, hi, my name is Joe. I'm a 34-year-old a uh, drunken, naughty boy who gets in lots of trouble. But uh, I used to be on, like, all the drugs. I was an injection user for a lot of years. And I made extremely poor choices, including being involved with neo-Nazi street gangs and criminals and just otherwise, you know, fun-loving yet unethical people, you know. I, I had bills to pay and I had mouths to feed. And this is when I was a little off my rocker. You know, I was a little spun off. I was probably, I don't know, 25 years old. I'd just gone through the the nasty divorce, you know, things like that. And, well, I was a little wired for sound. I had been injecting about an eight ball a day, sometimes up to a quarter ounce. And I was still doing heroin and drinking about 10, 40 ounce beers a day. So I was darted and promptly thrown in the nut house, and I've explained this, you know. It put me on a 72-hour hold, but then they extended it after a little incident where uh, some dude tried to shower shark me, and uh, long story short, I saw him peeping my meat, like, in a private area, and I'm like, yo, get out of here. And he's, like, walking in there like he wants to, you know, come and soap up my back for me, and uh, one thing led to another, and... Uh, basically, you saw a, a naked man with a swastika tattoo and a rooster tattooed on his weenie stomping the life out of somebody who's, uh, you know, like begging for their life and shit. And, of course, I'm covered in soap and water and everything else. And, and I'm waffle stomping this guy down the hallway. And, you know, I had to interact with nut house staff, uh, completely naked, covered in blood and soap and water. Uh, they tried to get me to put a towel on. I wouldn't do it. I figured, you know, since I was embarrassed, they were going to have to look at my hard dick and be embarrassed, too. Got my point across. But I did get to finish my shower and clean off and finally go to bed. Because, you know, like when you quit meth, like that's all you want to do is sleep. 
well, what's the point of this? This is not fucking what you think. The point is, is when my 72 hour hold that was extended, it ended up being to seven days. And I was being released that day, but in the state of Idaho, you have to appear before a judge after seven days. And they were going to see if I needed to go to Blackfoot to mellow out for a bit and be darted with some Thorazine and, you know, finger paint and do all the other nut house like activity things like play poo poo Picasso in your cell and shit like that. Now, I was not a violent man towards any of the staff in there. I have nurses, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, shit like that. You know, even though they kept calling me Joseph and like when you call me Joseph, that's a pet peeve of mine. I really don't like being called Joseph. Uh, It's a long story on that, but, you know, another time. So they decided that, you know, like I was already being released at this point, but the sheriff's deputies had not got this. So they roll in like three, four, five, six deep, right? Like, all right, Joseph, it's time for your appointment with the judge. Are you going to be a good lad, or do we have to pull your ears? I'm like, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. I'll behave if I must. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, they already said my discharge is coming through at noon. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, uh-huh, uh-huh, right. So they handcuffed me, and they handcuffed me to my waist with one of them leather belts, right, where the handcuffs go through it. And they fit me with a spit guard and a bite guard, which, like I said at this point, I was completely cooperating. Then they had a chain going from, like, the midsection of me down to my ankles where I was handcuffed at my fucking ankles. And, of course, they got one on each arm, two behind me. Mind you, they're all armed and two in front of me. And I'm just like, okay, but I'm getting out today. I don't see what you're doing all this for. And sure enough, a nurse comes around. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. His family's coming to pick him up. He's sane. You know, he just needed a mental health hold for a while. He's fine. So I got out of seeing a judge that way. But had I been to see a judge, even in that state, they have armed bailiffs. And I guarantee you, if I'd have even remotely tried to scratch my nose, they would have probably dumped a few rounds in. Right. And I had a friend some years back. He actually hung himself. He was a good friend of mine. Uh, his name was Jeremy. You know, he, he got a little spun out there on the meth and he had schizophrenia. But uh, some years back, he, he got a lot of driving without license tickets and he was going to do like i don't know six months a year because he had enough of these tickets and he was fucking irate he ended up throwing a chair at a judge Uh, he missed the judge you know it it hit the wall and broke this is back when they had wooden chairs in the old boise courthouse and they put his ass in the nut house for some time for that one they didn't give him any extra charges because you know they knew he was a fucking lunatic but (coughs) You know, when I see these stupid motherfuckers in liberal cities, <laughs> pardon me, this fog is hurting my lungs big time. When I see stupid motherfuckers in these liberal cities, you know, like putting up with stupid people doing stupid things, you know, they win stupid prizes and I laugh about it. <clears throat> but as always, uh, I'm freezing. I'm going inside to finish my coffee and then I'm going to go warm up for shower. So if you like the video, like the video, and if you don't, I don't really care. And, uh, you know, if you think this shit's funny, I'm glad I can brighten your day up. And uh, as always, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And ice fog can eat my shorts.